Can you make a sushi at home? In this video, we will cover all of the basic to do that and stay until the end because I will give away this beautiful sushi knife. The main ingredients are raw chicken. Now nah, I'm kidding, don't do that, you will die. Fresh salmon, fresh tuna, avocado, calrose rice, cream cheese, Japanese mayonnaise, sriracha, honey, mango, kombu, sugar, kosher salt, rice vinegar, garlic, wakame, lime, cucumber, and nori. All right, so what is the main ingredient of sushi? rice so the first thing we do is prepare the rice here we have a colander and a fresh water i will do a three cup recipe for this uh, and of course do this in your faucet this is just to show you how to properly properly proper, properly do it so three cup of rice uh, this rice is full of starch so we need to clean it dirty dirty rice so you will do this uh, three times this is pretty much it there's some starch left but not that much uh, the rice is making a pee pee Well, try to get the rice in the rice bowl, not out. And to properly cook your rice, your sushi rice, any rice you will cook, you need this. This is a rice cooker, a Zojirushi rice cooker. So it's something you need in your kitchen. Put three cup or until you reach the line. You close the machine and you press start and let's dance on that music okay so to make this uh, seasoning we need the uh, rice vinegar and it's all about the part so there's three parts of rice vinegar it will be two parts of sugar and one part of salt and uh, bring that uh, on the stove at medium heat and add uh, some uh, kombu leaf uh, inside of that when we put kombu leaf it's very important not to bring a boil the seasoning is uh, ready so just pour this uh, into a measuring cup there's a ratio for the seasoning of the rice. It's one quarter cup per cup of rice. So we put three cups. So we will put three quarter cup of seasoning in that rice. So that's exactly what we have here. Pour the seasoning like this on the rice. So pour this indirectly like that. And we flip the rice over itself just like this by turning your recipient and uh, we need uh, to air the rice so that will cool down the rice and uh, remove the excess uh, moisture so that's why you need a bigger bowl than this this is it for the rice now let's work on the spicy mayonnaise for the spicy mayonnaise, uh, what we need is uh, mayonnaise, but not any kind of mayonnaise. We need the Japanese creepy mayonnaise. Ah! Okay, so one cup. What is making this spicy mayo spicy is the sriracha. So put two tablespoons of sriracha, then uh, pour two tablespoon of honey one uh, tablespoon of lime juice which is about half the juice of a lime one uh, teaspoon of uh, sesame oil don't ask me why I bought a lifetime of sesame oil I don't know it wasn't special I guess and 
three cloves of garlic. And you can keep this in a fridge uh, for a couple of weeks and for easier transportation and uh, handling, uh, put this in a squishy bottle. And with a sharp knife, make some nice cut about a quarter of an inch thick, just like that. See how beautiful this salmon is. Nice, nice line of fat here. It's gonna be delicious. When you mix the smoked salmon with the fresh salmon, it's a very nice pairing. Okay, the next ingredient for this simple sushi is cream cheese. And for some reason, there's some raw rice in this. What happened in here? Avocado. So, slices then too. Just like this. Remove the anus. Twist. Poke. And twist. And remove. And with a butter knife, just make some slice and remove it. Just like this. Doesn't need to be super pretty because it goes inside the sushi. From this, uh, it will be very easy because uh, we made the mise en place. Everything is ready to be assembled. First, the rice. When you work with the sushi rice, it's very sticky. Make sure that your fingers will be always wet. So the rice won't stick on your little, little fingers. And leave a space here with no rice. And to your taste, you can put some wasabi on the sushi rice all along. Make a nice line here. Don't put too much. This stuff is pretty spicy. One thing about the wasabi buy in the store, it will be made from horseradish, horseradish, refor. And uh, there's a little tiny bit of uh, real wasabi in it. Uh, it's really hard to find here in America. Just use what you have. So let's put the salmon here. Put uh, one stick here. Put the smoked salmon here. and the avocado. And what you want to do is to press everything together so nothing is loose. We need to wet a little bit the nori so it will stick on each other. All right. When cutting the sushi, what you need is a long knife, a thin blade, and a very sharp blade. Here, I'm always keeping a damp cloth, so I will just pass it through, so my knife is a little bit wet. It will help to cut the sushi. So you just wanna be careful not to bruise everything, but just to run your knife and Cut it smoothly. All right, so the extremities are the chef treats. Mmm. 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 Wow. Mmm. Perfect. You want to win this beautiful knife? It's pretty simple. Share this video with the YouTube link on your Facebook. Take a screenshot, DM me with the screenshot, and in one week from now, I will take all the name of the people who did it, and we will make one happy winner! Alright guys, I hope you like this video, and I would like to know 
What do you put in your sushi? Just let me know in the comment. Uh, please leave a like in this video and uh, catch you in the next episode. Zhu, 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 zhu.